right, time for sports. Aaron Glazier's in for Myron and Layton. How's that for us, Aaron? Mm -hmm. Well, today was supposed to be a day of reckoning between the NHLPA and the league as players submitted a new CBA proposal, but frustrations boiled over once again. The players say they feel as though they've conceded in favor of the owners in some parts. Commissioner Gary Bettman disagreed while pegging losses for the league at $20 million a day. There was movement uh, on some issues by the Players Association, and that was appreciated. There was movement by us on some issues, uh, but we're still far apart. No reciprocity in any meaningful sense. No movement on the player share, no movement on salary arbitration eligibility, no movement on free agency eligibility, no agreement on a pension plan, although they say they'd like to do it, um, et cetera. So where we are is the players made a dramatic move, I think, by anybody's standards to say this is what you want. We can move a long way in your direction. If we're going to get this game back on the ice and the fans are going to be able to watch it, we got to hear something from you. And what we heard was what I mentioned to you. No further talks between the two sides are scheduled and the NHL is expected to cancel the 2013 All-Star Game in Columbus on Friday. Here's Nelson. Shot up the post. The Victoria Royals less than hospitable to the visiting Saskatoon Blades last night. Jamie Crooks out front. Pots his 10th to make it 2-0 Vic in the second. But the home side get a little sloppy in their zone. Can't clear the puck. And Brendan Walker, he is going to slip one past Patrick Polivka. Blades back within one thanks to their captain. He's got a nice little mustache cameo right there. Well, two minutes later, looking to tie things up here on the power play. Stephen Hodges, though, he will spring Crooks shorthanded. Beauty goal right there, second of the night. That is going to restore the two-goal lead. Talk about a momentum shift. Alex Gogolev, he's going to make it 4-1 before the period is out. Royals go on to win this one 5-2. Up next, the Prince George Cougars in a doubleheader Friday and Saturday. The high school football playoff picture is clearing up and a Mid-Island Gridiron grudge match could be uh, materialized if both the John Barsby Bulldogs and Bolinas Whalers win their semi-final battles this weekend. It's possible for the two sides to meet in the coming weeks at BC Place in the AA Championships, but the Whalers don't want to look that far ahead. They are focused solely on this Saturday's game against Mission outside at UBC. It's a rematch of last year's semifinal where Bolinas lost in muddy conditions. Well, I mean, in practice, we'll do some wet ball drills and, like, get the balls wet so we're ready for it. I mean, if we go out there and do our jobs, we should be fine. I mean, we have a great team, I think, and our, if we execute our offense and defense, should be fine. Yeah, I mean, that's part of playing in BC, and you got to be used to it. But, I mean, one thing we try to do is we throw the ball a lot, and we've got Liam O'Brien, who's a great quarterback and great set of receivers. So we've still got to be able to play our game no matter what the conditions are. And Bolinas play Mission at 12.30 on Saturday, followed by John Barsby, who will square off against South Delta at 3 p.m. Well, stepping up to the AAA ranks, the Mount Doug Rams will take to the field Saturday in their semifinal matchup against W.J. Mowat and leading the way in defense of their B.C. high school football crown, renowned running back Marcus Davis. He is this week's Island MVP. Marcus Davis's formula for success on and off the football field is simple. I work hard for school work comes first. Uh, just being dedicated and having a passion for the game. And that passion is getting noticed. Davis has been named the BC High School Football Player of the Year, an impressive feat considering. He's only in grade 11. Certainly it's well deserving of him to win that award. I'm so proud. He stacked up and dropped. Davis's older brother Terrell won the award last year, but he says he's ready to step out of that shadow and into the spotlight. Kind of got to follow in his footsteps a little bit, but I'm glad uh, I got recognized for being one of the best players for in, in uh, BC. Stellar on both sides of the ball, Davis is a chameleon on the field. Playing offense, defense and special teams, he leads the league in yardage on kick returns. On offense, every five times he touches the ball results in one touchdown, which is just absolutely amazing. And then on, on defense, uh, he's pound for pound our most physical player. To me, he's the most dynamic player in BC High School. Marcus well, uh, says he does cool. it with a lot of help from his friends. Oh, it throws a nice tight spiral and everything. He has quite the chemistry with longtime teammate Ashton McKinnon, and there's no doubt in the QB's mind Davis is his favorite target downfield. 
Well, he's faster than almost everybody on the field. He's got sheer hands. He knows how to run his route, so he's going to be where I expect him to be. Humble and hardworking, Davis says the accolades can keep piling up if they help him get noticed by a school in the United States, hopefully Arizona. Uh, anywhere, really, where they offer me a scholarship, but uh, maybe with my brother. You never know. That would be pretty cool. And it's that commitment to his sport and positive attitude that make Marcus Davis our island MVP of the week because the sky's the limit for this Mount Doug Rams star. It wouldn't be surprising if Marcus picked up a hockey stick if he would excel at that as well. Good at everything. Yeah, yeah, and a great kid. And we know there are lots of sports superstars on the island. We want to tell their amazing stories, so please email us at islandmvp at ctv.ca and nominate your MVP. Be sure to watch every Wednesday as we profile our island's top talent. Well, speaking of great kids and great players, five more Mount Doug Rams join Marcus Davis as recipients of 2012 Subway Bowl Awards. Here they are, Brian Dowds, who led the league in receiving, averaging 121 yards a game, grabs the Big Kahuna Sports Scholarship, while the provincial all-star roster features O-lineman Zach Wilkinson, QB Ashton McKinnon. They join linebacker Mason Swift and defensive back Julian Lewis. So congratulations to those guys. Are you going to be on that fan bus Thursday? I'll be on the bus. Yeah. Uh, well, on uh, Saturday morning. Are you yeah, leaving Saturday? Saturday. Yeah. They leave Thursday. Yeah, they leave. The, they go over the, uh, the a day early to rest up, and uh, the games at UBC on Saturday against yes. Moat. Big game. Mm -hmm. Get your pom poms out. Uh, yeah, go purple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Eric. You're welcome.